Good day, Sacramento. I'm Lori Wallace at Tower Brewing Company this morning. Pasta, brew, and dance. That's the event that's coming up. These guys look like they're playing with Play-Doh, but they are actually in the beginning phases of making their pasta, and they're doing a pretty darn good job. They even made a happy face. They've had some good instruction from this guy, James, over here, who is leading this class. Okay, this is a lot of fun. It is. Because not only do you get to make the pasta, but you get to eat it, too. We get to eat it, and we get to burn calories later by dancing, and before that, we get to a little, have a little brew as well, so it's a trifecta of fun. Uh, th we're actually learning traditional Sardinian pasta. Whoa, this is over 300 years of history. And so everything that you see is being handmade. And um, it's made by semolina durum wheat flour. So it's a very healthy flour. A lot of um, stickiness because it's high gluten. And so today what we're going to be doing is ravioli. Okay. okay. And we have some people here making nocchetti. Okay, so, so that's James, I was off to a little bit of a rough start, so I'd like to you redeem were. myself you redeem now. Yourself. Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So to make ravioli, this is gonna be a ricotta, a sweet ricotta with a lemon zest, and all you're gonna do is gonna take a little spoonful here and you're gonna drop it into the middle of the pasta. You wanna try one? Okay, and we'll see okay. if I can do this too. All right, so when you come to the class, there's a lot of instruction along the way, right? Yes, there is. So I'm okay. gonna be teaching you guys how to do it. I'm also gonna be explaining the history of it as well. And so you're gonna be learning a lot of this. I actually was trained by an Italian chef in Sardinia. So whatever mm -hmm. you're learning from me is the real way of Ooh. doing it. So after you put the ricotta on, we're simply just gonna go ahead and flip it over. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kind of close the ends here, and you're going to shape it with your hands. You want to shape this one? Um, I can certainly try here. Okay. Let me get this. <laughs> Let's do a little shaping here. As long as I don't have to make those, I think uh, we're good. Well, I'll tell you the truth. That's the beginning stage. Oh, that, that looks hard. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so that is how you shape it, and then we get to cut it. All right. And so to cut it, what we're going to do here is take this ravioli cutter, and we're simply going to... I have mm. never done homemade pasta because it is a little bit intimidating to me. So this That's is a great a way yes. for people to come in and actually figure out how to do it. It is a great way for people to learn how to do it, okay? And you don't have to be perfect if you're a beginner. That's completely fine. And we all have to start from somewhere. But that is the shape of your ravioli there. Look at that. All right, now with the pasta, uh, Kristen over here with Tower Brewing Company has all of her beer lined up and ready to go because you're going to be doing a pairing for these guys. You're the tap room manager, the marketing manager here. I love the name of this one, Monkey Knife Fight. <laughs> what are you going to be pairing with? I cannot ignore that that is the name of the beer. Uh, what are you going to be pairing with uh, the pasta that yeah, these guys so are making? It depends on which kind of pasta we're doing. So oftentimes with a red sauce, we want to do a heavier beer. So all of these are actually IPAs. So you want to do an IPA or even a red ale, which I have here. I don't have it in cans. With white sauces, you want to do more like a stout. We also have this lighter beer as well, if you're not into stouts or IPAs. Uh, we brewed this one with uh, lemongrass and green tea. So it might not pair super well with pasta, but we have done some other cooking classes in the past. Uh, more Asian food style that pairs really well with. So. That was fun doing the beer pairing with the pasta as opposed to wine because I think people are used to that. We have to wrap it up, James, but real quick, where can people get tickets to the event? So go to Eventbrite uh, on Sacramento and just type in pasta. Also, you can go to Facebook uh, on Dance Studio 18 and you can find it there or classpop.com. All right, thanks so much. I gotta stick around to see how this all turns out, guys. I'll send it back to you. I mean, yummy and really, even mistakes end up being quite tasty. It's, it's still possible. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. still possible. Doesn't still matter. Possible. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> A trifecta of fun. If you will. Thank you so much. All right, let's get you up on the roadways. Hi, T. Hi.